Hello everyone, I'm Dylan. First, we are going to click start new project and name our app Voice Translator. Afterwards, the first thing we want to do in the designer page is add a label. We will use this as a title for our app. Next, we are going to add a horizontal arrangement so that we can put another label and change the text to translated to and add another spinner into our app. The spinner will serve as a list for the languages we want to put in. Next, we are also going to add a place for translated words to appear. Just add another horizontal arrangement and put another label into the box. We are going to rename the horizontal arrangement and empty the text section of the label. Moreover, we need to add a button into our app. We want to make it so when the user taps the button, they can speak the word they want to translate. After we are done, we want to make our app look a bit better by adding a few spacings. We can do that by adding a few more horizontal arrangements and change our settings around a little bit. We are also going to need a label and change the text to load it. After all that, we also want to uncheck the visible box. I will explain why we want this later, but for now, you can just follow my steps. After we are done polishing up the user interface, we are going to need to add a few essential hidden components, which are the speech recognizer, text to speech, and Yandex translator. The speech recognizer will help recognize the words we want translated. Afterwards, the Yandex translator will help us translate the words to whatever language we want. And finally, the text to speech will take our translated words and turn it into speech. And with that, we are all done with the designer part. Now, we can go to blocks and start coding our app. So we can start off with the most important part of our app, which is the languages. We want to drag the initialize global block out. Next, drag out the list block and a couple of empty strings. We are going to type the languages that we want into a string, which is in this case, French and Malay. After that, we are going to need to initialize the language codes for our selected languages as well. We can do that by adding the following. And remember to change the name to languages and language codes. 
After we are done, we want to add both Malay and French into the list we made in our designer. Just add the following. Afterwards, we want the app to recognize what words we want translated. We can do that by adding the following. After the app recognizes our spoken words, we need to call in the Yandex translator so that it will be able to translate the language for us. We will also want to set the loading to visible while the Yandex translator is doing its work. After the Yandex translator has gotten the translation, we will want to set the visibility of loading to false. And use text to speech to get the translation. And we also add in an extra line to display the translated word. With that done, we can now test our app. Connect your phone to the MIT App Inventor and we can start the testing. First, we are going to check the list and as you can see, both French and Malay are here. We will test French for now and we can do so by tapping the button below. Thank you. Mercy. You are a nice person. Who eats a la bonne person? The food in the restaurant is delicious. La nourriture dans le restaurant est delicio. As you can see, the translation works perfectly and now I'll give you all a little challenge. Now if you're done with the challenge, here are the solutions.
We will test the app again. Thank you. Feeling dank. You are a nice person. Bastard es una buena persona. The food in the restaurant is delicious. No, この restaurant は美味しい As you can see, the app works perfectly. Congratulations, everyone! You completed the voice translator. So with that done, we come to the end of our tutorial. We learned how to make a simple voice translator app using the MIT App Inventor, and I hope you all enjoy. I would now like to take this opportunity to thank the Sarawak State Library for hosting this event. So basically, I'll be demonstrating four modes. The first one is the simul mode, which automatically recognizes any sentence in your language and translates it to another. <laughs> I don't really know how this is going to work because we're supposed to be two and I'm just by myself. I thought of wearing both earbuds at the same time, but then what I'll be saying will be picked up by both microphones and this is not what we want. So I'll place the listening one right next to the microphone so that you can hear it and then I'll exchange it. And what's also awesome, especially if you're learning the language, is the fact that everything you say is transcribed and recorded on your phone. So here we have English and Mandarin Chinese. Let's give it a try. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to be able to speak with you. Hi, you it works. It's cold outside and winter is here. Will it rain tomorrow? The second mode is called the touch mode, which is a little bit different than the first one because it only records when you press, when you touch the earbud. For example, when there are a lot of people around speaking. Right now, I'm in my studio, it's pretty quiet, so the simul mode would be fine, but let's give it a try in another language. And as you can see, you can actually choose the accent. Wow, there are so many for Spanish, so Spanish from Spain, from the US, Mexico, let's go for Colombia. Right, so again, you have to touch the earbud, wait for the sound, speak, and then touch again when you're done. Hello, it's been a long time, good to see you, how are you? Hola, ha pasado mucho tiempo. Qué bueno verte. ¿Cómo estás? And it plays on both earbuds. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Y usted, siéntese por favor. Y hablamos de negocio. All right, thank you very much. And will you please sit down and we'll talk business. <laughs> it works. All right, let me prank the device and speak with a Spanish accent from Spain, even though I didn't choose that accent. Muy bien, muchas gracias. Y usted, siéntese por favor. Y hablamos de negocio. All right, thank you very much. And will you please sit down and we'll talk business. It did understand. <laughs> then we have the speaker mode. In order to use this one, you can only use one earbud. Connect it to your smartphone. Again, the app is available on both iOS and Android. So the person wearing the earbud will be using the touch mode and the person using the phone will just need to tap the screen. All right, let's try this in another language. I have always wanted to speak to you and now it's possible. Pretty good. I saw this kiddo.